What's up everybody? This is John Blay and today we're looking at the Nanlite Forza 60C. This is a small yet powerful light that has full color capabilities and lets you totally control your lighting experience. I took the 60C out for a spin with my buddy Alex when we went to downtown LA and I had so much fun using it. I have some experience working with the Nanlite Pavo tubes, so this was a really easy transition because the controls, settings, and lighting options are actually pretty much the same. It's such an easy light to use and to get used to, so I got right to work when I got it. I love that the 60C comes in full color, like I mentioned, and allows you to change the hue, brightness, and saturation. It's actually RGBLAC, which stands for lime, amber, and cyan. I actually didn't even know that existed. Please don't make fun of me. But that basically means that it has all the color capabilities you could want and color accuracy is better than ever. Not only that, but it has special effects just like the Pavo tubes, such as lightning, rainbow, explosives, police car. And I tried all of these. They're extremely fun to use. The special effects are actually fully customizable as well. So you can change the timing or the coolness or brightness of them. You can make it your own. When paired with the Nanlite PJFMM 19, this light is able to reach even further with a 19 degree extension added to the light. This extender also comes with what I refer to as barn doors, something that videographers use to shape their light. I have found this to be so useful as it allows me to limit the light being put out and shape it to the scene that I'm creating. The extender also has a slot where you can slide in different inserts that give you unique shaping options, such as a slanted window or a unique pattern. What really intrigued me about this light was its battery capabilities. With these lights, you almost always have to be connected to a wall outlet or large power source, but not with the 60C. You can actually use two NPF batteries to power it up and get the same level of power as if it was plugged into a source. I used this thing for a few hours in downtown LA, getting all the different footage that I wanted that morning, creating different film scenes and exploring unique perspectives, only to realize that my batteries were still only halfway used. When I'm on set or out and about at a shoot, the last thing I want to worry about is losing my power in my light. I just keep thinking about all the capabilities of this tiny light and all of the options that I have for photography or videography. I snapped a few photos in lower grand to see what sort of effects I could have on my photography. Even in a bright alley, I could see how much fun this light could be and how useful it could be when creating content, filming a video, or taking photos. When carrying it, I just noticed how light it was and how easy it would be to move around and use, even if I was working on a solo project. It's lightweight, compact, and colorful, and can easily be held in your hand. You know how they say don't look into the light? You should probably look into this one. Until next time, peace.